Assam's health and family welfare minister Himanta Biswa Sarma said that Guwahati has now formally entered the COVID-19 pandemic stage. Sarma was addressing media persons in Guwahati amid a massive rise in the number of COVID-19 cases in the city. On Saturday alone, Guwahati reported a total of 777 COVID-19 cases, the biggest single-day spike in the city so far. We have formally become part of COVID-19 pandemic. We have entered the real phase of pandemic, said Health Minister Biswa Sarma. Sarma stated that COVID-19 situation in Assam has been turning critical with the increasing number of cases. Among the total tests on Saturday in Guwahati, 30% cases were found positive for COVID-19. He requested everyone not to spread misinformation about COVID-19. While sharing a list of COVID-19 tests conducted across India per million, the Assam Health Minister tweeted, We will complete 5 lakhs tests in the next few days. Our faculties, scientists and lab technicians are working 24 hours, putting their lives at risk. Hope someday people will recognize the selfless dedication of my team, the health minister stated. As per the list of tests per million in major Indian states, Delhi is on top with 32,863 tests, followed by Andhra Pradesh with 18,597 tests. Tamil Nadu is in the third position with 16,663 tests, while Assam is in the fourth spot with 13,471. Agriculture Production Commissioner Y. Kikheto Sema has been relieved as overall head of Empowered Group COVID-19 Dimapur District as per government memo issued by the Chief Secretary on July 4. Kikheto Sema, who is the State Agriculture Production Commissioner, has been directed to resume normal duties in Kohima. In a press conference held today at Saramati Hotel in Dimapur, Kikheto Sema said that the fight against COVID-19 was yet to be over and thereby he emphasized on the three golden principles that includes wearing face masks, regular sanitizing of hands, and social distancing. Kiketo informed that till date, a total of 17,157 returnees have returned to the state from all over the country. 6,800 by special trains, 4,312 by normal trains, 2,723 by flights, 2,212 by buses, 612 by other vehicles and 499 from Kohima. He informed that a total of 1,202 returnees are still in quarantine centres in Dimapur, with a number of 601 each at government quarantine centres and paid quarantine centres. He also said the largest quarantine centre in the state at Ganesh Nagar has been closed. Speaking on recovery rate, Sema informed that recovery rate of COVID-19 patients in Dimapur was about 84.41%, while the state's overall recovery rate was about 40.50%. He informed that the last special train was expected to reach Dimapur from Bangalore with about 500 returnees. Principal Director Health and Family Welfare Dr. Vizole Zetsokre said since there was no community spread at the moment, the department did not recommend total lockdown. Informing this at a press conference, Sokre said as of today, all the positive cases were within the quarantine centres and from returnees and there was no community spread. Therefore, considering the case, currently there was no need to go for total lockdown. Shokre informed that as of today, there was a total positive case of 578, out of which 350 are active cases and 228 have recovered. He said highest spike occurred in Perrin and Mon during the last one week and said the department was closely monitoring about transmission and recent increase of positive cases in the state. Meanwhile, Department of Health and Family Welfare also informed that a new standard operating procedure on swab testing will be released soon based on the two positive cases detected in Mon District where COVID-19 recovered patients tested positive upon retest on July 3rd. With increasing number of COVID-19 positive cases all across the nation, the COVID-19 status of the northeastern states are Arunachal Stali rose to 259 positive, 182 active, 76 recovered with one death. Assam Stali has spiked up to 11,002 positive cases, 4,241 active, 6,744 recovered with 14 deaths. 
Meghalaya tally has risen to 72 positive, 28 active, and 43 recovered with one death. Manipur's tally has risen to 1,325 positive, 658 active, 667 who have recovered. Mizoram tally stands at 186 positive, 53 active, 133 recovered. Nagaland's tally has risen to 578 positive, 350 active, 228 recovered. Tripura's tally rose to 1,558 positive, 355 active, 1,202 recovered with one death. Sikkim's tally rose to 103 positive cases, 51 active, 52 who have recovered. Total number of COVID-19 cases in the Northeast stands at 15,083 positive cases, 5,918 active cases, 9,145 who have recovered, and 17 deaths as of July 5th, 2020. From all of us here at NEAID, stay strong and stay safe.